Let's go ahead and start a new project. Let's go ahead and uh, create our main file. Go ahead and include the uh, HTC file. Now we need to initialize or uh, rather configure our microcontroller. So that's two underscores. We want to use the internal clock. We want to turn off the watchdog timer. We also want to disable the uh, clear on pin 1 and uh, lastly we don't need code protection. So now that we have uh, configured our peak we can go ahead and uh, configure the ports. So my LEDs are connected to port C and from right to left starting at bit 0, 1, 2, 3 now I just want the first two LEDs from right to left on so I'm gonna type port C and give it a binary number that's 0B anything to the right of 0B is a binary number with the most significant bit on the left, the least significant bit on the right. So if we want the first two LEDs on the port on, we're gonna give the value of one to the two least significant bits on port C. So that's uh, telling the microcontroller that we want the uh, these two pins on. We also want to configure the direction of port C. In other words, do we want input or output? Zero is for output, one is for input. Since we're uh, turning on LEDs, we're not receiving any digital input or any analog input, we want everything to be zero. And lastly, we want a, an infinite while loop. And the reason why we want this loop is because if we don't do that, every time the, pro the program finishes execution, it will restart from the beginning. And uh, the only thing we want to do is turn on these two LEDs. We don't want to load the libraries every time. So go ahead and upload that to your microcontroller. So the program is working correctly. You can also use uh, hexadecimal numbers if you prefer, instead of binary. So for hexadecimal, 0x, followed by the hexadecimal number. So that's going to do the same thing we did. Uh, try different values. Let's try uh, 
zero a so this is zero a and uh, I made a mistake when I did a two and said that uh, we were gonna have the first two on since the value of two is actually one zero in binary we only had one of the LEDs on let's try that again so now only the uh, second LED is on because two in binary is one zero if we put three that's one one so that will get us the first two LEDs from right to left on so just play around with this program until you understand how to use binary numbers as well as hexadecimal numbers thank you for watching